Hola, tis I, Alicia, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue on the Austin, Texas Lady Bird Lake Serial K, in my opinion. We're going to look into the passing of Cliff Axtell. That was March 5th, 2023, is last seen February 25th, 2023. I'm recording this May 1st, 2023. Go back to the beginning of the videos if you haven't already and start from there. So I want to see what happened to Cliff. Okay. It's, it's the guy. It's the serial K. There it is. The chariot. He's coming across as an official helper here. And there's that mother card again. Okay. Oh, and this is a tarot card reading, oracle card reading. For entertainment purposes only. My opinion, allegedly not fact. Use your own judgment. Scourge. Okay. I'm curious, I'm starting to wonder if this Empress card that keeps coming up, if it's a female. I'm wondering if the serial K is a female. It's a false person, has mommy issues on their own. And it feels like there's some sacrifice to mommy being done in this because they weren't treated well by their mother. But I'm starting to wonder. Um, we got the innocent girl, the official innocent girl. The Empress card is really a rat. I'm wondering if this is not a female. Which I know you could say, wow, how are they, you know, doing this to men? I don't know. Just an idea. Unless they have a feminine aura. I don't know. There's something interesting. But. Okay. We have this. Um, death. We have the, the fetus card not in control of their faculties, kind of way out of control. They're needing help. The hermit, the undercover agent here senses they need help. They're rushing to help. The innocence with the girl and the official, it's interesting. But we have the rat. I'm taking care of you. Maybe it's just as much as like a mother takes care of someone, that type of caring energy, which gets them to trust to get into this uh, car. The tree. Stability. Finding stability. They think this is a smart, stable decision. But they soon get enlightenment that they are dealing with El Diablo. Scourge. What is the Scourge about? Punishment. Brutality. Extreme suffering. Shame. Subjugation. Maybe this is... Maybe that's a video we have to do as well. Is like how... Is there like a specific way, reason that the victims are chosen? Because I'm wondering. Okay, so let's continue on here. Again, we got that chariot card. Let's see what we can find out. 
Cliff Axtell. There's our false person getting on the road again. There's the weird science. There's the false person again. There's, we got those together too last time, didn't we? When we did uh, Christopher, John Christopher Hayes Clark, we got those two together. Um, okay. We got that one as well. We got trapped. There's that legal proceedings, outside burial, and a timeline issue. Okay, so we know that this is the false person. There's fear, some type of anger and drama. I'm not sure what we've got all about there, but they get on the road together. He work. This is like a part of his work because I think he's like an official taxi driver thing. And he's very organized. This is not like he's a part of the mafia or some other type of group. Uh, this is an independent operator. He's just very organized. Uh, he's a dominator. This false person. He's He, he has his power because he traps him in the car. The legal proceedings we've seen before. Outside burial timeline issue lies I want to look into here these ones all right let's see what can we find out about the lies this is like a it's the same thing again, that we have like the martini glass or whatever and the money's exchanged, right? Yeah, I'm going to get you home. Sure, I'm going to get you safe. I'll get you back to where you need to go. Yeah, I know. I know. I know all the roads around here. So it's a lie. This is like, because I part of this is like, I don't know if he's an official driver of some company. And I don't think he is. But there's some idea about that drama one oh seven. Why do we have a rocket ship? Dreamer out of this world. There's drama about trying to get back to home, home base, wherever he's trying to go. Uh, 112, we have air signs, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra here. We have the loyal dog, but we have like the spinning out of control, whirlwind, turbulence, trials, tribulations. But what? There's illusions. Okay, it's just more of like the storytelling to get them in the car, to get them to go with the serial K. Just more of that. There's the illusions. At some point, while the serial K is going through his normal steps of operation, he's Cliff figures out he's in he's in trouble, and we have the trophy. 
self-confidence, success, public recognition. Hmm. Just making notes about this. Something happens with Cliff that he adds, this is a new thing he adds then to future victims. False sense of security, I lull them in and then I'm busy working through my steps. But there's something else like he does to invoke some extra fear, which is exciting to the serial K. Okay. Anger. Cliff fights. Okay. Remember where we got before about that there's some type of like obsession with doing something romantico not really romantico but in this guy's mental makeup i think the serial killer gets mad at cliff because when cliff is right before he's going to pass and serial k is going to do something to him cliff's fighting back yuck this guy he likes it when they're practically on the other side of the veil, if you get my drift, right before they cross over to the other side. And that's like when he likes to do nasty things to them. You know, they can't consult, they can't fight back, but I think Cliff starts to fight back a little bit or something. Okay. Now, let's see. This is, I'm wondering, like, every step of the way, this guy just starts to, like, he learns new thing, he adapts, he adds it into his uh, plans, his thing here. What's the timeline issue? Is there... interesting we have two things for a family here and I don't know whose family it's like look closer at this family it almost as if and I don't mean Cliff's family I mean does this guy the serial K does he have the family as an alibi and I'm like yeah he was home with us it's like a partnership. There's somebody leaving an alibi. And the family might not necessarily be. He has a family family. Could be friends that are like family. Although he's a loner guy. This could just be like core people he interacts with. Somebody giving him an alibi. There's something there to watch. There's something to look for. There's somebody. Somebody. Somebody in his home base. Unless his mom is still alive. I don't know why I was assuming that his, the serial K's mom has passed on, but she might be covering up for him or something. Like they had a horrible relationship. He's got mommy issues. He explodes all the time. He has anger issues. He cannot control. I think that was from his, um, when, before he turns 18, my opinion. And there's a choice here to lie. Choice here to lie for him. Hmm. 
Now let's look here into this mail. What we can find out about this mail. He's the car driver. It's the taxi guy, the Uber Lyft, the, or whatever it is. He's, I don't think he's associated with a company, but that's him. Look closer. Look closer at these taxi people. Look closer with the eyeglasses. Let's go here. We know what that is as well. There's some type of cleanup, though, I want to investigate here. Let's go into this. Again, he's playing out his movie. We have the false fake frog prince here. He's some type of authority. You can trust me. I wonder if he's like, you, this came up before. Is this like, maybe he has like an, a, he's made like an official looking logo for his vehicle. So it looks like he's like registered as a taxi type driver. There's that whole, like, you can trust me. I'm official. 42... Occult knowledge, spell casting, because he's giving them something to put them under his spell so he can act out the rest of his thing as he goes and takes them to the other side. He's made a wish. He's got... This is a phone. This is another one I think that got like a... Back in the, the, I think it's the first reading where how does he get like some of these people and he gives out his business cards to people about the like, give, give them my card and I'll come get them. I think this is one of those uh, dial -a ride type situations here. And then he, he gets them in the car. We get, we're celebrating, but... He's moving him from one place to another. He's offering them, I think it's like what we saw that other reading with um, Jonathan Hayes Clark, where it's this idea that um, there's something in a cup. And he's offering it to him. Cliff doesn't know what it is because it's like you can't smell it. You don't know it. It's just he's he's acting out his same steps. He has it all methodical how he gets them. I do I I I get him like through a phone call, my business card, a referral, something like that. I get him in the car. I pick him up. I'm going to drive him. I'm going to take him somewhere, and then I go through my methodical steps to get them to consume this. So then they start to knock out, and then I can do the rest of my disgusting crime. Okay. So I think he's a, it's a part of the same guy's MO. Clean up. Let's see what the cleanup's about. Legal proceedings. I guess let's double check that again. What's the legal proceedings about? I think this is when there's that girl again. I think this is when they're under age though. It's buried. The records are buried. They're sealed because they're under age. So serial K here, although they're coming up as a male, but this shows girl. We've gotten the girl. 
I think a few times, at least twice. Unless they used to be a girl and now they're a male. This is like buried under the records. Okay. They, in my opinion, allegedly, that keeps coming up. There's something with their, they had problems as a youth. Youth offender. He's got stuff back at his house that he's taken back home, offering to mom. That's what we got. I know we got that in, I believe is the Hayes Clark reading. It's like I take something off of him to take it to mom. It's like an offering for mom. <sighs> Man. Okay. This is nuts. All right, so that's going to be this video. Um, all of these victims say a prayer. My gosh, good Lord, this is horrible. Um, we're going to go and look into the next person in the next reading. So thank you for watching. Give the video a like, share, subscribe. Join me in the Moon Moth Manor, AliciaWicker.com. I'll see you next time. Adios.